Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a wiffle ball spiral shirt. I have the shirt turned inside out and I'm going to go ahead and use the microwave cover again and a pair of my locking tweezers to begin the spiral. I'm locking the tweezers onto the shirt and then placing the microwave cover over the top. As I spin the locking tweezers, I'm going to use my other hand to form folds in the shirt. Once I have the shirt folded, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. So for this shirt, I wanted to do some fun summer colors. But before I apply the dye, I'm using a washable marker to divide the shirt into six sections. I'm making sure to take each of the lines through the center of the spiral. That way all the colors are going to originate from the same area. I'm also using some silicone cake molds to make myself an ice barrier around the shirt. I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased the cake molds. I also have a link to a lot of the other tie-dye items that I use. The first color that I'm going to apply is Mermaid's Dream from Dharma Trading Company, followed by Margarita from Dye Spin, Peacock Blue from Dharma, Bright Green from Grateful Dyes, Grecian Sea from Dharma, and Jade Green from Dharma. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top 
and add on a layer of ice. After adding the layer of ice, I took a wiffle ball and placed it underneath the shirt. I tried to get the wiffle ball as close to the center of the spiral as I could. I thought this would be a fun experiment to see if it made any difference to raise up the center portion of the spiral just a little bit. After I put the ice on the shirt, I put the shirt aside and I allowed the first layer of ice to melt. After the layer of ice melted, I checked the shirt and most of the color had dissolved really well. If you'll notice the two colors that contain a lot of yellow, which are the margarita and the bright green, still have a little bit of residue left sitting on top, but that's not uncommon. So I just went ahead and left the shirt alone and I allowed it to process for at least 24 hours. So this is what the shirt looks like right before I began rinsing it. And as you can see, the dye has gone through really well to the backside. You can also see the indention in the shirt where I had the wiffle ball, but I'm a little curious to see whether it made any difference in the way the dye moved on the shirt. So I started rinsing the shirt in cold water to rinse out any of the soda ash that was in the shirt. I warmed the water up to hot and rinsed in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Then I untied the shirt and continued rinsing until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? So I really like the shirt, but I can't really tell that the wiffle ball made a huge difference in the middle of the spiral. Because it's an ice dye, there was some movement in the dye. I mean, you can see like the green stripes going through the shirt, but I don't see a lot of difference between this shirt and another traditional ice dyed spiral. I'm not sure the wiffle ball was quite large enough to make a huge difference in the shirt. I really like the colors though. I wanted a summery, fun looking shirt and I really like the pop of the margarita and green on this shirt. It just really stands out. I also really like the teal colors, like the jade green and the mermaid's dream. So overall, I really like the shirt. I'm not really sure that it was worth it putting the wiffle ball in the shirt, but it was a fun experiment to try. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.